Good morning, welcome back to Oso Farm. It is Monday, it is the beginning of a new week. La I'm here with Evan. Can you say hi, Evan? Hi. Right. Hi. It's the beginning of a new week. Um, we're kind of sliding into this week again, not totally prepared, which doesn't feel good, but it's just kind of been our life the last few weeks. Um, this past week, my Evan was on day 10 of a, an antibiotic for that ear infection that we had gone through. This was our third antibiotic. And on day 10, Brian had Apollo and Maya, our kitty at the vet, and I was sitting near Evan and he broke out in this terrible head to toe rash. And it was so strange because he really hadn't had any, no new foods. He hadn't gotten into anything. And long story short, my doctor couldn't work us in and he started to like grab his neck and be really uncomfortable. And so I took him to urgent care and they diagnosed it as an um, allergic reaction to that antibiotic, which I thought was interesting because he'd been on it for 10 days. But I think she explained it as Sometimes the medication has to build up in your system over time for you to have the reaction. So then the next day, and we got a steroid shot and came home. Give me one second, Esme. And then the next day, we went back to urgent care. Yeah, yeah. No. We went back to our doctor because even yeah. after the oral steroids, after the oral steroid, he got puffed, like his eyes were even swollen, really blotchy and red. So I wanted to just make sure that our doctor confirmed that diagnosis and we weren't missing something. Um, so we got a longer steroid. So we spent two full school days, one at urgent care and one at the doctor. And since then his rash is gone, but he has been so clingy and fussy and needy. So, I'd had him in here. He just did um, occupational therapy and we had a rough start. He finished strong, but it was a terrible start. And he kept saying, mom, mom. So I ended up bringing my planners in here and I'm like, I'm not gonna fight this anymore. So he just wants me to sit by him. So he doesn't look, yeah. <laughs> he's not himself. So I'm gonna get the kids planners filled out from my planner. They are working on things right now. They're just kind of coming to me and asking what's next. And then this should take me probably an hour with the distraction of Evan to get them all copied over. And then we will plug through today. kitchen and I saw bear like darting over here to this corner what is it what'd you see and all the chickens kind of flew up in a frenzy huh what is it Pedro I don't hear anything or see anything 
It is so nice out. Over here is just a little bit of land and then it drops off into the canyon. So a lot of times we do have coyotes that walk right here at the fence line, but a lot of times they'll just be walking down here in the canyon and they'll hear them. You're doing a good job, Bear, protecting all our friends. Look at these zinnias that have this like stripe to them, aren't they pretty? my sweet tomatillo that will never never produce bless its heart but it's massive I heard Acre Homestead had a video on how to self-pollinate tomatillos I did have three to four in each okay so look at these there are pollinators on them they're tiny you can see that so I don't know maybe we'd have some luck this is how Evan prefers to have a snack hey Evan is that a good spot to sit yeah no yeah, <laughs> yeah I agree you're having your Cheerios <laughs> as long as he doesn't bounce right uh -huh. we just finished lunch uh -huh. and we're having a little break I'm gonna go and work with Everett and Esme and Isaiah is going to take a break. He got up early this morning. You're almost done with all of your today and yeah. yesterday stuff, right? Yeah. Awesome. So I'm going to let him hang with this little friend for maybe 20 minutes and then I'm going to do my time with him and Elizabeth. Oh, oh. Ah. Ready? oh no, oh no. Crash and burn. Can you tell Daddy thank you for the snuggle? Thank you. I see an Evan Ray. I see an Evan Ray. <laughs> and we need an extra snuggles today. Yeah? No. 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 Oh, you're all done with the camera? You could do one smile. No, no, no. All done. Okay. Reminders of Evan everywhere. So sweet. Those are actually, I would say 90% of those are my Emma's little people toys from when she was little. And she is now 21. She'll be 22 in just a few months. So that's fun to to still have those things. We have had the craziest stretch of a few weeks. Um, last week was consumed with Evan having an allergic reaction to a medication. And then prior to that, it's been a lot of waiting on baby Thomas to come. My Emma that I just mentioned has a baby due the first week of September and she's had hyperemesis and preterm labor and so like none of us expected to be you know 39 weeks into the pregnancy before this boy came so there's been a lot of she's had a lot of symptoms of labor and so there's been a lot of back and forth at the hospital anyways it is Tuesday let's see the date September 30th, I'm sorry, September 30th. Do y'all see where my brain is? August 30th. Tomorrow is the last day of August. I cannot believe that. And we get paid once a month on the last day of the month. So that is when I typically do my big grocery shopping and all that stuff starts. However, with it falling in the middle of the week and also all of our Wednesday night activities at church for fall start tomorrow. So it is obviously... We're going to be doing homeschool and then church. So my plan is to do my grocery shopping, place the orders tomorrow once the money's on the bank, like for the pickup orders. And then Friday and Saturday and Sunday, get those 
purchased and filmed and put away, I was just sitting here thinking, we've kind of made the decision to do like a fall stock up. And I was telling Brian, I think I'm gonna do a stock up for September, October, and November because I feel like December is kind of its own month where you're needing to buy a lot of Christmassy stuff. And it's not meaning that I'm not gonna go to the store between now and December. It's just my focus is gonna be getting all of the food that's non-perishable supplies, meats, frozen stuff put up. Um, what I experienced this month, this past month in August, was I had bought a lot of food and I had meal prepped, but I didn't really check my stockpile. So we ran out of cat litter, we ran out of dog food, we ran out of rice, and we ran out of potatoes. So yes, I do little fill-in hauls, but I just was scatterbrained and didn't get it done. So a lot of the meals that I ended up planning at the end of the month, like the last few days, like one was Papa stew, my dad's stew recipe, and potato soup, um, and barbecue potatoes. This was spaced out over probably two weeks. I didn't have potatoes to make those things with, so we've just been kind of improvising and doing other things, which is fine. There were a few freezer meals, um, like tonight, where um, I had some chicken barbecue ring, or no, no, bacon chicken taquitos that were frozen that I thawed out, and we're just like, that's the simple dinner we're having. I'm just gonna bake them. So, I'm really trying to get into a groove here, and I'm also, trying to just extend grace to me and grace to my kids in areas that we're not getting everything done and everything on the schedule. So I'm currently making, this was August and I didn't actually even highlight everything that we ended up doing. You can kind of see down here the last few days, um, we did not do those, those meals. Um, so I'm looking at September, I'm looking at times when I know I'll be out of the house or, you know, days we have a football game, we're going to be, you know, eating things quickly. Um, so I'm just trying to navigate it the best that I can with what I know and then holding it loosely. But I actually... Everything that I've made out of this Magnolia Table cookbook has been really good, and I have it on display in my kitchen, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna put as many recipes in here as I've wanted to try on the calendar so we can try to taste a little bit more of those. And then, whoop, I had ordered this a while back. This is Jennifer from A Country Life, her cookbook. And from my Is Your Standard order, I had ordered a bunch of frozen cranberries and I know that, you know, they're cranberry farmers. So I know she has a bunch of cranberry recipes in here. So I was going to try to use some of that up. And then this is my old pioneer woman recipe book. I was going to see if I could pull a few things out of there. And then my Esme has been working tirelessly on getting all of my paper recipes in to these with little protectors on them. And we just ordered another and that little bin down there on the floor has what's left to do. So I don't, sometimes I do this where I feel like I overthink this and I need to just put things down and, and do it. Um, I used to do some talks for like mom's groups and stuff about meal planning and freezer meal things and things like that. Um, so I feel like I know what to do, but sometimes when things are just busy, just the act of making a plan feels kind of cumbersome to me. But I do know that decision fatigue is a real thing. So even if we don't wanna have hamburgers on a certain night, just having it written down and having a plan is so much easier to just eat the hamburger than to not have a plan, not have the meal figured out, and then spend all day 
with decision fatigue, trying to decide what are we gonna eat? Do I have everything? Do I need to thaw something out? So most of the time I try to stick to our plan. So that is the hope. So I'm going to work on this. It's about 4.30. And since dinner's made, all I have to do is just put it in the oven. That should be easy. Evan is playing in the girls' room. And the boys are at football practice. So it's just my two girls, um, my two teenage girls, and Brian and I and Evan here tonight. And then the boys, of course, will eat when they get home from football. So if you have a system for... Meal planning, let me know in the comments if you plan daily, weekly, or monthly in terms of meals. And then I'm also curious how you do your grocery shopping. Do you go to the grocery store multiple times a week, once a week, bi-weekly, once a month, and have current times changed how you are doing things? Okay, dinner is going in. These were in the freezer, so I had them thaw on the counter. And I didn't really roll these as tight as a taquito probably would be, but that's okay. So the last step says to spray with cooking oil and then um, sprinkle with salt and bake at 425 for 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, friends, dinner is over. I didn't eat it because it had flour tortillas and I have celiac disease, but I think it was okay. They weren't raving about it, but what did you say? You said it was rich. That it was rich. It does have cream cheese and like ranch dressing. So, but it was easy for me. So thank you for watching. If you are new here, we would love to have you subscribe to our channel and follow along with us. It got overcast outside and rained a little bit and it's making me feel extra sleepy. So I'm going to go fold all that laundry and get ready to close out this day. So y'all have a good night. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.